So, the East Kentucky Science Center in Planetaria. <laughs> Hey, opening t- tomorrow. This will be released the day before, so opening Woo! tomorrow. Yeah. Are, are you excited? I am so excited. All all of us are really happy to see people back in the building. <laughs> how, how long has it been shut down for? It's been it was, quite a while. Yeah, it was before I arrived um, earlier in the year. I think around March. So that sounds I remember. right. remember. That yeah. sounds right. Yeah. Um, there, it was open for a few months, and then it had to close right back down again, which, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a yeah. long time. So the the Halloween event, if, you know, those people who came out for it, it was awesome. Yeah. We, what, what all would, what all did uh, that consist of? So we, it's, we had over 500 people come, Dang. which is amazing. Yeah, it was incredible. Nice. So awesome to see so many people. We did the Fright Night Laser Show, yeah. and then we had... Um, different activities um you could make your own uh witch or wizard familiar um we had um investigating pumpkins so like guessing how much they weigh like will it sink or float and then you could test out your predictions we had a uh, dancing gummy worms there was a box of mysteries where you had to stick your hand whoa, in whoa, 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 whoa. dancing gummy worms. <laughs> how do gummy worms dance oh you soak them in baking soda water and then you drop them in vinegar and they go, for real? Yeah. Can you? And if you're it? lucky, they float, and then they sink back down again, and then they float, and they sink back down again. Can you still eat them after all that? Uh, they probably wouldn't taste very good. I'd still try it. But a- a- anyways, uh, what what else? Uh, that just that that one really caught me it's right there. Gummy worms. <laughs> I love gummy worms. I love gummy everythings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want yep. one of the huge. Uh, bears that they have is like forty dollars sure. but they're like two pounds or something yes. like that have you ever just left a bag in the sun and they all melted together and you just have a block no uh, okay that's a genius mm. idea though i need more friends like you <laughs> in my life you got the idea. the best science happens by accident <laughs> <laughs> but well, so what else did y'all do there on the fright night um there was a box of mysteries um so you had to put your hand in and guess what you were feeling um, oh God! And if you didn't hear, I'll reveal them right now. Okay. What the items were? I should have brought them and made you do it. Well, you you didn't. <laughs> well, did, did they know after they got it? I think who was doing the activity told some. Okay. But I don't I don't know if that happened for everyone. So, uh, one of the objects was styrofoam peanuts. Um, one okay. of the boxes had a model human skull head. Wait, like, oh, model. Model, okay, model. yes. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's possible Keyword to get it. Right there, model. All right. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> um, very realistic. Thing. Um, there was a plant, like a spiky kind of plant. Okay. Um, and there was a bucket of pumpkin guts. That was the... <laughs> Oh, the mysterious one. Yeah, I, I hate that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's such a weird feeling. Mm-hmm. But um, very cool, though. Yeah. And then, oh, and there was a, you we could make a bloody handprint with a specific shade of paper that reacts with, um, I think it's baking soda uh, water. The baking soda, the base, reacts with the dye in the paper, and it turns red. So you could make, like, a red handprint on the paper. That's cool. Yeah, so... It was yeah. It was we had a really good turnout, um, and it it was just awesome seeing people at the science center again. That's that is mm-hmm. wicked. Yeah. See, that's why I, I I love the science center so much. Like I, I'll be honest, I've probably learned more at the East Kentucky Science Center and Planetarium than I ever did in science class in high school. They just like I don't know. Like it just wasn't as fun. We didn't do bloody handprints. <laughs> we, 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 we didn't do anything. We didn't have dancing gummy worms. I, I, I think that like whenever you make science fun. Mm-hmm then it really gets the gears going. Right. Not not just for young folks. I'm sitting here, I'm 25 oh, sure. years old, and I want to do dancing gummy worms sure. now. Yep. I think that everybody's a kid at heart if you get them in, <laughs> in, in the right space. But mm-hmm. if you make science fun, then you get people interested. Yes. You can't, yeah, just sit, absolutely. You can't sit there and preach to them and give them a big quiz and just make them watch videos. Mm-hmm. No, make it fun. Mm-hmm. It, it's a very fun thing to do, a yep. very fun field. That's why I got into it. Because uh, I used to teach in the classroom, and it's it's very different. Um, and the teaching part's what I loved, but the it's hard. I mean, being a te- classroom teacher is hard. Yeah, there's a lot that you have to follow and uh, achieve. And but that's 
to be honest, that's what I want the Science Center to help with. Um, all you know, if there's any teachers listening, that's that's what I want us to do for you. We want to take some of that stuff that you have to do and help you with it. Mm. If that makes sense. You that's know, cool. So yeah, so we'll be open Tuesday through Saturday. Nice. Um, Tuesday to Friday, the mornings are are set for school groups, and then from one to four. Tuesday to Friday will be open for the public. You can come on in. We'll have a show in the planetarium every hour. Okay. Um, at one, two, and three. Did it that way so it's easy to remember. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, and then on Saturdays will be um, same thing. We'll have a show at one, two, and three. Um, we've been from noon to four on Saturdays. I'm glad that y'all are doing Saturdays as well. Yay. Because like, for some people, you know, it is <laughs> difficult to get there in the mm-hmm. middle of the week and stuff like that. So it's mm-hmm. I think it's so important and great that y'all are doing it on Saturday yeah. as well. Because mm-hmm. like people like me that have to work, unfortunately, I'm going to be there on Saturday. Sorry. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all good. And, and, and some people are lucky enough to get a Monday and Tuesday <laughs> off and well, Tuesday and Wednesday off. Right. And then they can come down there and hang right. out. Yes. What all is uh, going to be different with the uh, East Kentucky Science Center? Yeah, so we're actually, I'm glad you asked that, because on Fridays, I'm actually going to start testing out a new kind of show in the planetarium where it's going to be me or one of our other educators just being there live and taking you, and I think I talked about this a little bit when we talked last time, but, um, you know, for example, one month might be the solar system and we'll i'll actually take you in our digital planetarium system on a tour flying from planet to planet to planet like zooming up to the surface looking at different features on it and yeah. talking about the cool things about each planet and moons and and different things like that so i'm actually going to try that out the 1 p.m show on fridays um to see what everyone thinks do you like this format i'm really excited cool. um and if you're there in person and you know you have questions i'll be there to talk to you about them if you want to see something else let's go see it you know i i want this to be um interactive i want you to tell me what do you want to see or what do you think what are you thinking about you know so we're going to test that out and if we seem to like it then we'll start offering that uh probably in the weekends too but very cool um there's that and then i'm also we're going to be starting doing little um, demos and experiments uh, at certain times during the day just out in our exhibit hall. So mm-hmm. little little experience. We might bring out one of our animals to talk about it. Um, we might do an experiment like the dancing gummy worms. Who knows? <laughs> like yeah. that, those kind I of things. I want to see that. We'll do little little tiny demos with, with whoever's there and wants to come up and, you know, talk to the educator and learn about some topic. Hmm. So we'll start doing that yeah. um, just out in the exhibit hall at – at different times throughout the day. Um, and we're working on some new programs too. So um, in the future, we'll have uh, the opportunity for you to sponsor one of our pets in the Science Center. I don't know if pets was the right word. One of our uh, Animals co-workers. Are, well, <laughs> co- co-workers, co- co-workers are a better term because, I mean, they're putting in the work too. You know, they they're, sure they're showing are. off. They are. Um, yeah, so we, of course, at the Science Center – want our animals to be as happy and enriched and healthy as we can be. So letting the community kind of become a part of that. Um, we're going to have different levels where you can sponsor them and kind of be an adoptee um, yeah. for a specific time period. Um, you can give this as a gift if you want, you know, one of your friends cool. to kind of do that. And, of and, you know, you can get special things like little video check-ins of the animal. You can have your name displayed. You can come have special visits. This is all That's like we're cool. kind of developing this little program where to bring the community is part of the museum. as part of the Science Center. And yeah. Yeah. That is so. very cool. <laughs> I, I think that that's such a unique uh, take that y'all are doing with the animals that yeah. y'all have there. And, you know, I, I think a majority of this area are all very animal-loving people. And I, I'm, I'm definitely going to be a part of that. Yeah. What, what, all, what all animals are going to be involved with the uh, Science Center? Yeah, so right now we have a group of hissing cockroaches, which I call the Waltons. We have um, Shelly, the marine turtle. There's Merle, the 
uh, Terrapin, the boxer Earl, which I call him Merle because he is always tired, so he's haggard. So I call him Merle. That's, like, that's, that's, so. that's, a, that's a good name. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. suiting. Yeah. Um, there is <laughs> Sandy, a desert iguana, like a little, basically a little lizard that yeah. super fast. Yeah. Um, we have Fidget the chinchilla, uh, Miss Piggy the guinea pig. Uh, there is Draco the bearded dragon, and then uh, Seymour the blue tongued skink. So we got a lot. We got a good, good little troop. Wow, you got, I mean, you got like a yeah. miniature zoo. We do. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see the guinea pig. That is yeah. one of the cutest animals on earth. She oh. is amazing. She loves to talk, especially when you have food. <laughs> I, I would say so. Yeah. I yeah. would say so. And is, is the dinosaur poop going to be there? It, w- it will be. Yes. Yeah. That is like one of my favorite things to tell people yep. about the science center. Like, listen, they have real dinosaur yes. poop. Yes, we'll have it. we'll have plenty of things that you can touch, um, and I might put them out on the table and not tell you which one's the dinosaur poop. Maybe you have to guess <laughs> guess which one it is. <laughs> uh, it, it really is an amazing, an amazing place. I think. It, was, it had to be 2019. I re- keep forgetting how crazy of a year 2020 was. No, but yep. the, uh, the the space rocks that they had right. down there mm-hmm. that was an amazing experience mm-hmm. for like to give people the chance to hold actual moon rock samples right. from the actual moon. Yep. That it's it's mind blowing. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, doesn't it seem real. No, it, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Like, like even when I was this holding them, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, ah, are you sure? You, you did? Like, I was like, yep. you didn't just get this out of the creek or something like that. But I, I, I trust them. I trust them. And, and two, like, that's another thing that I love is any questions that anybody has, mm-hmm. you are there to thoroughly explain it. Mm-hmm. I probably talked Steve Russo's ear off with a million questions, but I'm thankful to have that opportunity with people like you now. That uh, if I have any questions, I I can ask it. That's uh, one thing that I've always hated about watching a YouTube video mm. is like I won't understand it. And <laughs> Just picturing I, you yelling at the computer, <laughs> answer <"Tell> me! <laughs> and, and do not go to the comment section <laughs> on any of these videos oh, to, yeah. to see sure, help. Sure, sure. You're not yeah. going to get help. Yeah. But with the Eastern Texas <laughs> Science Center and Planetarium, people like Chris Gent will be there to help you with anything that you need and offer once in a lifetime experiences. Like, you know, the moon rocks and all the other exciting things that y'all are going to be doing in the future. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm so thankful that somebody like you and the rest of the team is here in East Kentucky to help dumb people like me understand all this smart stuff. (laughs) But really, I'm I'm, I'm very, very excited. So uh, once again, to anybody that wants to uh, see more and learn more, how do they do that? Yep. So you can go to our Facebook page, East Kentucky Science Center and Planetarium. Uh, we also have an Instagram. Um, you can find all our contact there, phone number, email, everything like that. And really hope to to see you. <laughs> Krista, thanks for everything. Thank you.